Hi, welcome to WiseCat. And today I have a question from JC who asks, I wish to add edits to my text, change the font size on some words, highlight others, and maybe change the color of the text in some places. How do I do this in Moodle? It seems these options aren't available. Very good question. Here we go. Here, let's get uh, let's get to it. So let's have a look at a freshly baked Moodle. This one is just baked, and I've made myself a course here. So we're going to turn editing on and go and add a resource. So resource, let's go to resources and just add a label because it's simple. So you can see that out of the box here, and if I paste my lorem ipsum text right there, so we've got something to play with, you can see that we don't have many options. We've got bold, we've got italic, and etc. Uh, we can grab that there, and oh, I didn't have anything highlighted when I went italic. Um, but then also you can change this to the heading, say medium size style heading, and this just makes it match up with the other medium style headings around the site all over the place. So your options here seem very, very limited indeed. You can get a few more by clicking on this left hand button that says show or hide advanced buttons. And there you have a few additional options here, but there is no option for changing the font size, font uh, style or the colors. So if you really want that, you've got another alternative and you have to go up to uh, search for it, but it's in your user menu. And if you go to preferences, so leave, don't care, and go to editing editor preferences, you can actually change the editor away from the default. So Atto is the default editor and it doesn't have very many options in terms of formatting text and changing colors. And this is because Moodle is trying to uh, keep it accessible to all from the get-go. Uh, so you might think it's clever to go uh, red text or green text. Um, but for a red green colorblind person that's no fun at all but what you can do to get those options back is switch to the tiny mce html editor which is also available in other products like uh, wordpress or drupal or other cms's so if you do that and head back to our dashboard again now go back into our course now if we edit and add a resource uh, like a label there now oh things have changed a little and so if I paste in my lorem ipsum text again, and I'll make this window a bit bigger, uh, you can see that now I've got a few options that weren't there previously, because this is the different uh, text editor. It's still got this collapse, collapse button, and I've still got the basic things like bold and italic, but I've also got, for example, down here, I've got font family. So now I can um, take this first sentence and I can change the font family to courier. I can change the font size to uh, massive. Um, I could change the, uh, I can add a highlight here. Uh, let's add a yellow highlight to that word. I can change these words, I can change the color and make those red. So um, please use cautiously, make sure that you're not uh, alienating the students who are colorblind, but if you want some additional options for how to edit stuff, this is probably the simplest one you've got. You do not need to be an admin to do this. You, anyone can uh, usually do this unless the administrator has deliberately gone in and disabled Tiny MCE Editor. It should be available for you as well. Okay, hope this was useful. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you again very soon.